Hi guys, AJ here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the new fitness app from Apple, Fitness Plus. So let's check it out. So here we have iPhone 11 Pro Max, and today we're just gonna talk about fitness. So we've also got it on the iPad mini the latest one that they do um, my other son's 10 point whatever inch one it's not compatible with and it's compatible with my watch which is a series 4 um, as you've just seen but it's not compatible with my Apple TV 3 so you've got to have the 4k versions uh, to to share your content or do it for the TV. It's better to work out in front of the TV because obviously it's a bigger device, um, but it is really cool when it goes with it onto your iPad. Um, you can view it on there and it's interacting with the video and also the Apple Watch. So if we look on the Apple phone, um, a nice thing is just to show you that now you actually get the app that you used to record, which I use night when I go running Indoor, I use my cycling, so my bike. I use the stock app. But Fitness Plus, as you can see down the bottom here, Fitness has been on here for a while. Um, hold on, let's take off, put the Wi-Fi on. That's it. Right, so do that. Really annoying when you get alerts come up. Right, so this is pretty much it. So here we are, so we've got Fitness Plus, which you have to sign up for. Um, which I have done, but only for this video. So you can cancel it any time, you get a month's free, so I'm gonna cancel it soon. But here you are, so what you've got at the top here is you've got HIT, yoga, core, strength, treadmill, cycling, rowing, dance, and mindful cool down, which is good for after you've had a run or a workout. Now in here, um, you've got all your different ones so new this week so what they're going to be doing is updating it weekly um, for you to all see and enjoy different workouts um, so as you can see you've got here with Kim Jessica Tyrell and onwards so what you can do is and so what you've got here so you've got a preview so you can have a little preview and see if you like it or not um, with is it Kim or whatever her name is jumping up and down and talking through it and what it do is it'll play the music so you can select what sort of music you want so I'll show you in a second um, and now she does her talk so they all do the same like this they all do their little talky talky and waffle waffle um, but as you go down you've got here so you've got the music that they play so you can listen in music Apple music and you can see how long it is, eight songs, 29 minutes, it's sort of a 29 minute workout. But you can actually add all those songs to your library. So when you go out for a jog or a run, or you're down at the gym and you don't want to use the Apple, the Fitness Plus, you could then just use this music to, to work out to, which I think is really, really good. Um, if you go back to fitness, now I'll show you what I mean by selecting. So if you come out of this and you actually go down so these here, you've got the workout for beginners. So this is a sort of like absolute beginner. So they're really looking out for all different types of people. You can add all to that. Um, but then you've got these different ones here, popular. So your core, you've got all your trainers. So you can meet all your trainers here. So you can go all the way down. Um, and there's a few there. I've never heard of any of them, but never mind. Um, so you can choose by trainer, simple and quick, different ones. Now, if you go to say, for instance, um, treadmill, you go down a treadmill. So you've got a few workouts for treadmill, um, but you can filter. So now what you can do is if you feel, oh, well, I like Sam Sanchez, for instance. So you could click on that. You can then click on the duration of what video she does, so say a 30 minute video, and she does it with everything rocks. So if you take that off, you can then see that she's got other options here, Latin grooves, upbeat anthems, pure dance. But for a 10 minute workout, it's pure dance. 
um, 20 minutes Latin groove, everything rocks with 30 and 45 upbeat anthems. So obviously, um, I don't know, let's try it without selecting an actual time. Could we do that? So, so yes, yeah, so you've got different ones here that she does at different times. So maybe one day, you, you know, you only want to use Sam Sanchez, you don't like any of the others, for instance, you could then use, you could leave it open for the amount of time. So I've come home and I just want to do 30 minutes. Another day, I've got my day off, so I might do 45 minutes. And you could set, select there, you see, it says anthems, dance, anthems. So if we go into this one, and you can see there, Sanchez, 46 minutes, upbeat anthems, 2nd of January, uh, November, that was when it was recorded. You can go to this little toggle here, and you can copy, share, save workout. So you could save that, or add. So you can add to my workout. So you could select certain different workouts overall over a period of time. You could run, or you can walk. So this is a treadmill, this is not out running. You could preview it. You've got the music there as well, which is quite nice. And then you've got other related workouts with Sam, with Jamie, with Emily that do those as well. So you could do that, you see. So you could specifically use a particular um, person for the workouts. So that's with treadmill. Um, then you've got like cycling. So that would be good for me because I cycle before I go running and cycling when I come back so I don't get pain in my legs. Um, and you have all these, so you've got all the different people. Um, and again, there's a different music as well that they like to use. So again, if you wanted to select, um, so you go filter, and you can see the ones that do the cycling. Um, obviously, if you try and pick one that doesn't, doesn't, then you don't. But you could just leave it open. So those ones there, you then have the choice of who you want to pick, the amount of time. So you'll actually have more videos to choose from and more music to choose from. So it's a bit of a, a little common sense. So if we were to pick Emily for this one and say 20 minutes, and then they've got throwback hits or you've got latest hits. So, you know, so if we put latest hits, press done at the top, and then you've got um, uh, there we go. So we press on Emily, and then that's it. So let's try one. This is my 13. I said there are 15 intervals in this ride, and each one lasts about 30 seconds. So well, let's go. I suppose. So there we are. Work out with watch which is always a good thing. So my watch, uh, not working because I've taken it, I've put it on airport mode, but if it was working, oops. Um, so I've gone double tap on there. So we turn the volume up a little bit. And there we go. So if we end workout, if I just put my watch back on again, off airport mode. Let's see if we can work it that way because it really is annoying when you get stuff coming. Oh, right, so here we go. So we've got here cycling with Emily. Press play. Press play. Here we go. So they sort of count down together. And then we go. And there, as you can see at the top, there's quite an Emily for a bit. It's a bit of a noise. Right, so as you can see, here is my live um, fitness or activity circles. Here is the time matching my watch. Here's my heart rate, which you can't see on this bit, obviously, unless I move it. See, it's matching active calories. We've only just started. Total calories one. And there's your time. So as you're moving along, you're then getting these things. See, now it says up here, marshmallow. So you listen to what song you're playing. So this is actually really, really good. I actually do like this. Um, but like I say, would I pay $9.99 a month? Probably not, um, because there are free apps out there 
Um, there we go. So, so there we go. So there's my live tracking. But the thing is, is that when you click on them, you don't get any feedback from it, which is a bit sad. Um, what is this? So we've got all these little features here as well that you can use. Burn bar. Burn bar can appear on your workout and workout summary if you turn off the burn bar, the workout will not contribute to the community. So there we go. So, and it's still carrying on. So it, is, it looks really nice, it looks really good. Um, but you get the same feature as well on the Apple. So if we turn this one off, and, oh no, hold on, making some funky noises. See now I've ended it there, leave burn bar on. So there we go. So as you can see now, you have all this information which you didn't normally get before. Um, but this is a new piece here, the burn bar results. So three calories. Um, so you could click on mindful cool down. Now what that would do is that would then open up a new um, workout for you, for you to select, for you to then do your, your cool down, which is pretty good. Um, so there we go. So again, it's sort of pretty much mirroring what it says there. That's a lie because it's raining outside. Um, so that goes into your results, obviously, with burning your rings. Um, but this actually looks quite neat, doesn't it? So you could share that. There's some people there. I don't know who they are. Um, but again, you see, you can do this. So if we went in with Greg and we went down, can I play video? Because obviously I've got airport mode on turn airport mode off probably get a lot of alerts come up now so again activate press play hey, what's up? and there you go the it's greg let's turn that down before i get sued by someone um but there you go again so again you get active your your feed there so again if i was working out you'd get the precise um, details there which is really important again it's not activate active very much but these bits are so that's the key thing that's really the only thing that I like as in like really impressed with is these bits here that literally mirrors what you're seeing and is pretty true 61 now 61 so when I start working out it would be good um, but it's a shame you know, I don't want to pay $9.99, I pay $4.99 soon in February for my Apple TV. Um, I pay $9.99 for my Apple Music, and I pay £2 something for 200 or 250 gigabytes. So, the package that they offer on Apple One doesn't really um, compare because things that I use, they put arcade in there, which we don't use. My boys do download some games, but it's only like every once every other month or something um, and you only get 50 50 gig of iCloud storage and we, we use up to anything up to 200 so with the photos and video so it's not really any good um, but yeah this is this is good I like the layout I like how it's done but um, like I've said before let's turn that off let's pause which is good so turn that off. Um, yeah, so the thing that I, n I don't like um, is airport mode. Done. Right, so let go back out again. Um, so summary. So again, see, it shows you now your workouts that I've done. So not only does it show the workouts that I've done in the past, um, total time 13 hours 21 workouts 7,000 blah 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 all the way down so that's for November right so all the way through and then you've got now you've got cycling today so if we look at that um, if you know if I did it for enough it would give me information there but again the weather's not right um, but that's good that's not bad that is really actually helpful this one here the burn bar because we had it open for a few minutes again which is really good um, but yeah 
um, would I pay $9.99 for that? Hmm. I don't know. But you do get a lot more information in these updates now, which is really good. You get a lot of stuff which I don't really understand. Um, some of these things. But yeah, um, but like I say, the packages that they, they do on Apple One and that would not actually work with what I do. So here we go. So we've got that there, your information for beginners. You can meet the people and all that. Now, is it worth it? Would I get it? Probably not because what I use is I use resistant bands. They haven't got that on here. They might do as time goes on. Um, and that's probably the reason why I wouldn't use it um, because of the fitness band thing that they don't use. Now, a lot of people now are in lockdown or staying at home, working from home, and yeah, you know. Um, so lots of people are working from home now, and you know, a lot of people bought the resistant bands, lots of people cancelled their um, subscriptions for their gyms. I mean, you know, I've done it in the past, I've signed to many gyms over the years and not gone for most of the year. And certainly with lockdown, I mean, a lot of people must have lost a lot of money or gone online and bought the resistance bands. You know, there's big weight trainers, there's, um, you know, bodybuilders that use resistance bands um, and have got rid of their a lot of their gym stuff because resistance bands you can use practically every muscle um, or use them for every muscle should I say rather than weights weights you've got to use different machines you've got to have several machines to be able to use to get you know to what you want and I just think you know if Apple could put the resistant bands on there then yeah I think it'll be worth it but at the moment no I don't think it is um, and for that reason I probably wouldn't buy it. It's no good me buying it just for cycling. Um, I may be doing sit-ups. I can do sit-ups myself. I don't need a video to show me how to do that. The exercise bike, it's nice to, to be exercising with someone else or other people and seeing your stats on the TV. So having the, the um, not having 4K TV, okay, fair enough. You know, that's not everything, I suppose. Um, but Maybe in the future I will get one. I uh, probably will, knowing me. Um, and they're not that expensive, surprisingly enough. As you know, the new Apple Watch 6 now, you can get it from 600 pounds upwards if you go for the, was it the titanium, um, the steely uh, titanium one. Um, you know, that nice gold that matches the, the Pro and the Pro Max. So I'm surprised that the Apple TV is not actually somewhere up there in that price range as well because the, the tech that it has, maybe they will do soon. Me and my big mouth. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get it because it's not got the resistor bands. But other than that, it is a very, very um, good app. Certainly with that interaction with your watch because your watch picks everything up. Um, but obviously your phone, if it's in your pocket and you're going for a jog, it's not really picking up anything. It's your watch that picks up your steps. It's the watch that picks up your heart rate, um, oxygen level, if you've got the, the new watches. Um, but like I say, if you've got older devices, then it's not going to work. I think you've got to have, is it a 7, iPhone 7 or 6S to have iOS 14 um, so it will work with that um, anything new obviously it will work Apple Watch 3 upwards it has to have you have to have um, an Apple TV with TV OS 14 I think it is it has to be compatible with so not really um, great in that aspect if you've got to have all that and like it you know all the time with Apple isn't it after so many OS's, the older devices are starting to not work. A lot of apps that you like to use on there don't work anymore because they're not big enough. So yeah, um, but that's tech. That's the tech world that we live in. Um, but yeah, 
that's my little video on the take of the fitness app. So sorry I didn't get into my shorts and do some fitness exercises with you. Um, but I'm not a, a fitness guru. Um, but next year I will be looking to sort of bulk up more. So I'm not going to be buying all this milkshake stuff and that. I'm sort of against that. Um, so I will be doing something a bit more easier. And uh, doing a lot more resistant band workouts. Um, still do my jogging, but more resistant band to start toning up now because that's what I need to do. Because at the moment I look like a bit of a skaghead, um, and I need to start now going back the other way, um, how I used to be years ago. So that'll be interesting to see. I think next year will be a lot harder for me in doing that. Um, certainly, if we start going back to work full time, hopefully we will do, and I'll have to slot in my fitness in between so at the moment while i'm off i've been able to shed a bit of weight and i do look quite skinny compared to um, some other people that i know at work um, that have been lazy um, i'm not going to mention any names but um yeah i'm happy that i've lost weight and now i can start seeing my body for how i want it to be but now like i said i just need to tone up my muscles and start getting my strength back to how i used to be many years ago you know, I'm 43, nearly 44, and um, it's time to really start pushing myself now. And uh, I've been pushing myself with running, but now I need to really push myself. The ultimate goal, and that's toning up and getting really fit. So next year, 2021, that's my, my task. But we'll see how it goes. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.